If you're new here and new to my channel, my name is Paul and I help people like you make better decisions when moving to, from, or around the state of Michigan. One of the things that I do is help people build a lot of homes around the state of Michigan and this is one of the Lombardo builds. This is the Columbia floor plan by Lombardo and you can not only build it in one of their existing communities, you can actually build it wherever you want to build it, which makes it a very, very attractive process or plan for you. If you're interested, reach out, let me know. And I'll, I'll link to all of their stuff in the description below. All right, so right when you walk inside, it's awesome. So you've got the stairway right over here and then you have sort of a dual use area. So you could either use this as a dining room, like it's set up now. This is not a dining room. It's actually set up like a, uh, like a small office zone, but it could be set up like a dining room. So that's what I mean by a dual use area. It could easily be used as a dining room if you needed it to be. So you come over here and right off from the front door, you have the main powder room for the home. So you've got this closet here, so you can just stick your coats in or whatever. And then you're in your main living space. So you've got these beamed ceilings here. And I love the, the constant use of the, the flooring. It's just a, like solid surface floorings throughout the fireplace back there. You've got the TV. And one thing that I, I always like to see is when you're here in the kitchen, your sight lines to the TV. So you can see from right here, if everybody's just sort of hanging out in the kitchen, eating snacks and things, sitting at the table, everybody can sort of see the TV from here. I'm not a big sports guy, but I know a lot of people are. So if you have people over and they're trying to watch the game on TV, it's just nice to have that, that clean, clean view. So right over here, you have the pantry and it's huge. So you have this big walk-in pantry. You have all your stuff from Costco in there. Walking over here, you have your, that is right to the garage. So you can head right into the garage here, you walk in the door and you have a big mud room slash laundry room here, which is really nice. You can sit down, take off your muddy boots, put them in the closet, go about your day. And over here we've got the basement, which is nice. One great thing about Michigan is most homes have basements and it's something that you want if you're going to build a home here. So this basement is a pretty standard basement for Michigan. It's not a Michigan basement, it is a legit basement. And it has daylight windows with a egress window here. So if you were going to make a bedroom of any sort here, you would put it right in this area. And then you always wanna look for the um, plumbing features here. So you could add a bathroom here, so you could have another full suite down here. You could have a bedroom, a bathroom, sort of finish off this whole space and it would, it would feel like you're still on the main floor of the house. So if you're getting any value from this video, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button on this, like it, and subscribe to the channel if you would like me to make some other videos like this one because I love making videos like this. I love checking out houses. First, we're gonna head over to the master bedroom. It is a good size. It's pretty big uh, and you have three large windows here so there's no shortage of light. And then they're using mirrors to sort of reflect things. Got this trade ceiling, a little bit of a cove there. I kind of like this paint color. It's like a yellowy gold. I don't really see that that much, but I kind of like it. And in here into the master bathroom, dual sinks. I think that's one of the main things or the main reasons that people end up buying a bigger home is they want their own space. They want two sinks instead of sharing just one tiny little sink. Toilet here, big walk-in shower. There's no tub in here. There's not enough room for a tub unless you reconfigured some stuff because you do have this big walk-in closet. So there's plenty of room for his stuff, plenty of room for her stuff. And you've got this closet here too, which might end up just becoming another clothes closet, but it's just, you know, a linen closet. So you've got this loft area. On paper, it doesn't look very big, but it is, it's big enough to entertain kids. I mean, you can have kids sort of hanging out here, lounging around, watching TV, while all the adults are downstairs watching the game. Up here we have two bedrooms here. They're all a pretty good size too. So they don't have any sort of 
uh, joined bathroom here. You just have the common bath. Over here, another good sized bedroom. I like it. So there's no real shortage of space. And then in here, this is the common bathroom. So this is the bathroom that the kids or the guests would be using. And it does have a tub. One of the biggest uh, mistakes I see home sellers make is they remove the tub. And then when people go to look at their home, they don't wanna buy it because it doesn't have a tub. So right here, uh, this, this might be the biggest room aside from the master bedroom. Uh, but I really like this little reading nook area sit here over the window look out all in all i think it is a great build especially for the money and you can put it on your own lot you don't have to buy it in one of these communities lombardo does build sort of all over the place and you can get funding for both the lot and the home if you wanted to stick one of these on your own lot or just have them build in one of the communities they have if you want any information about that reach out let me know and i can help